Okay. Um, okay. Can you listen to me? Yes. Are you there? I can listen to you. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is, is the following. Uh, okay, it's about adjectives. We have to, you have to write. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Okay, um, sorry. Uh, okay, now we are going to do the following. Oh my gosh. What happened? Oh. Oh. Okay, now we are going to do the following. Yes. Uh, we're working on this page and now we are going to describe yes uh, okay write a paragraph <laughs> okay write a paragraph Describing, describing a friend, a friend. Okay, this is what we are going to do. You have to write a paragraph, okay, obviously on your notebook, in your notebook, describing a friend. What would you want to say about your friends? Oh, okay. What you want to say about your friend? Okay, is it clear what we are going to do? Yes. yes? Okay, so can you do it now? Yes. What would you want to say? Okay, can be a very short description. The point here is to you is using an adjective. Okay, we have to use adjectives for this description. Yes. So, uh, do you think five minutes are okay? Yes. Okay. So, write a, write your description, please.
Now, do you have your paragraph? Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have your paragraph? Yes? No? Do you have your paragraph? Yes, I have. Okay, do you have, do you want to read? Yes. Mm, it's short, <laughs> my paragraph. Okay. My best friend is very tall. He is very cute, funny, and smarty. He always makes me smile. He has brown and curly hair. His eyes are brown. And I was, I don't know how do you say brackets? Brackets to me? Mm -hmm. That's English. And he used brackets. Okay. Uh, what is his name? Eric. Eric, okay. Uh, okay, nice. A nice description. He's very tall. Okay. It's taller yes. than you. It's taller than you. Yes, very tall than me. Okay. And, okay, very good. Now, Ali, do you have your uh, description? Yes, the this uh, is short. Yes, don't worry. Okay. His name, my friend, is Marco. Mark is very young. He is he's nineteen years old, but he looks like seventy. He's tall. <laughs> he's tall and slim. Uh, he has light skin. He has brown eyes, and his hair is black. He's very full and smart. Okay, he's very smart. Okay, now uh, did I listen? Well, I listened something like he is tall than me. Did you write that? Escribiste eso, he's told than me? Or I misunderstood me? Did you write this? No, did you, uh -huh. did you write this? Yes? He's told than me? Yes, did you? Okay, I listen this. Did I listen well? ¿Qué escuché bien? He is tall. Well, I can to write this, but yes, it's his part because he's true. He is taller than me. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So. Uh, okay. So just remember, tall. When we do this kind of comparison, we use the comparative form taller than than me. Okay. Así debió de haber, bueno, no sé si escuché bien, como que me sonó esto, pero si lo escribiste como este, está bien, ¿sale? Ok, nice sentence. Ok, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, now we have, we, okay, do you know how to use to and enough? Do you know the meaning of these words, to and enough? Yes? Yes or no? I don't remember. You don't remember? Yes. I think that I see, I know, but in this moment I, rem I don't remember. Okay, we are going to check that part. Uh, I, oh, these also are adjectives. Yes. These are adjectives. Um, but in this case, uh, how, how can I say? Okay, no, I'm sorry, it's an adverb. Yes, it's an adverb, but we are going to check the, the use of that. Okay, we have here, we have here, two and enough. Do you see? We have two and enough. Okay, we are going to use two plus an adjective. Uh, and all this means more than we need or more than is possible. This food is too hot. I don't like it or I can eat it. Or I'm not going swimming because the weather is too cold. I don't like warmer water. Okay. Did we understand this part? Yes, now, uh, now that I, after I read the, uh, this part, did you understand what I said? To plus an additive, we are going to use to with an additive. Okay, yes, with an additive. And okay, how do you understand this? How do you interpret the uh, sentence? This food is too hot. ¿Cómo interpretamos esta oración? This food is too hot. ¿Cómo lo interpretamos? Esta comida es muy caliente. Oh, okay, more or less. Uh, okay. Now, I'm not going swimming because the weather is too cold. What's the meaning of this sentence? The no, no iré a nadar porque el agua es muy fría. Okay, <clears throat> for this word, we have, we use a special, a very specific word. When is much, as it says here, more than we need or more than is possible. What word do you think is, okay. Uh, Yes, what you said is correct, but what is the specific word for two? Demasiado. Yes, that's that's the the meaning. Demasiado. Esta comida está demasiado caliente. Demasiado caliente. Y después dice no iré a nadar porque el agua está demasiado fría. Okay, now we have not plus additive plus enough. Means less than we need or less than is possible. For example, I'm not warm enough. Okay, I'm not warm enough. I am told I want to be warmer. Okay, this t-shirt is not big enough enough for me. I am a bigger than the t-shirt. Now, in this case, how do we interpret this part? The, this part of I'm not warm enough. How do you interpret this sentence? How do you interpret that sentence? 
What is warm? Warm? Okay, it's like cold, warm. It's an opposite. The opposite of warm, no, the cold is warm. Yes? The opposite of cold, you know, cold is warm. Lo opuesto a frío es? Caliente. Okay, yes, that's right. So now, in this sentence, how do you understand? How do we understand? I'm not warm enough. Mm, no estoy suficientemente caliente. Mm -hmm. Exacto, no estoy lo suficiente. O no, no estoy, no estoy eh, lo suficiente caliente o cálido. Es como si dijéramos, tengo frío, quiero estar más calientito. Now, this t-shirt is not big enough for me. I am bigger than the t-shirt. This t-shirt is not big enough. Okay, now how do you interpret this sentence? I mean, this t-shirt is not big enough. Esta playera no es suficiente grande para mí. Es, es decir, es, si se dan cuenta, es una manera de, de decir un poquito más complicado algo tan simple. Aquí es como si dijéramos, eh, esta, esta playera es pequeña para mí. ¿Sale? Bueno, pero o sea, es otra manera de expresar algo. Esta playera no es lo suficiente eh, grande para mí, es decir, es pequeña. O como nos lo ponen en este caso, I am bigger than the t-shirt, soy más grande que la playera. ¿Sale? Yes, now, eh, questions about this? No. Ok, oh, we are going to check. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, now we are going to listen. Okay, first we are going to read the conversation and then we are going to complete the conversation with one word in each gap. Oh dear, I think this hat is too. Uh, you are right. It isn't enough for you. We just have to use to or enough. But we also we are going to listen. Okay, let's listen. Unit four. Grammar. Exercise one. Oh dear. I think this hat is too small. You're right. It isn't big enough for you. Okay. Unit 4. Grammar. Exercise 1. Oh dear. I think this hat is too small. You're right. It isn't big enough for you. Uh, okay. Do you have the answers? What word? Yes goes here. Too small. Okay, too small. And in this part, you're right, it isn't bigger enough. Okay, it isn't big enough for you. Uh-huh. Now we, okay, in this, I, I, I get to this. Complete the rules we are going to use to or enough in this part. For example, we use before the adjective. We, okay, we use to or enough. You have to decide. Or we use to or enough. You have to decide after the adjective. In this case, what word goes here? We use to. Two, okay, uh, we use two before the adjective, like in this case, two small, 
No, we use enough. Enough, okay, after the adjective. It isn't big enough for you. Okay, now let's see. Uh, complete the sentences with an adjective from the box. Okay, this box. Clean, cold, expensive, fast, heavy, old. Okay, you have one minute, then what? Five minutes to, uh, to complete this. These five sentences, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, because uh, we have one already answered. So you have five minutes and then we check the answer. Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so you have five minutes to complete this. Please. Aren't okay? Uh, do you have the answers? No, yes, yes. yes? Okay, so yes. let's start with number two. Sam is only 12. She isn't enough. Okay, in this case, we have to use, uh, we have to write two words. Ale, tenemos que escribir dos palabras. Okay, enough and, nope and old. She isn't she old and enough. Okay, she isn't old enough. Very good. To drive a car. I can't carry this. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Very good. Now, number four. He isn't enough first. He isn't enough first. Okay, let's change the order. Fast enough. Uh, he, he, he isn't fast enough to win this race. 
number five, I can't, I can't buy that jacket because I've only got 10 pounds. It's, it's too expensive. Too expensive. It's too expensive. Now, you can wear those jeans. They aren't clean enough. Clean enough. Very good. Now, let's see. Okay, now we are going to work and we are going to imagine that we want to buy a birthday present for our friend. We have to use two or not enough to say that is wrong with these ideas. For example, a banana, a horse, a house, a new laptop. We have to comment these ideas. Um, okay, we have to uh, say sentences like, like this, using two or enough. Okay, we have an example here. I want to buy a horse for my friend. No, a horse is too big. Uh, in my case, I want to buy a banana. What can you tell me if I, if you listen that I want to buy a banana for my friend? No? Um, yes, it's too delicious. Okay, it's too delicious. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> another wants to say something about this. Do you want to buy a house, a new laptop, a horse also? I want to buy a new laptop for my friend. Okay, if you want to buy a laptop, uh, I don't think so. It's too expensive. <laughs> and I think um, I want to buy a house for I my friend. A house? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think uh, you. Uh, okay. I don't think so. I think also a house is too expensive. I think a banana, it is not, um, no, okay, no, that doesn't make sense. No, okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something else that you want to say? Another what else can you say? Uh, okay, do you agree with the banana? Okay, uh, Tom, you said that yes, because a banana is too delicious. Oh, yes, okay. But I think a banana is not enough to give someone like a, a, okay, it's not, a present. It's not enough. Okay, maybe but it's cheap. 
<laughs> land, a horse, a house, a new laptop, and I don't have money, <laughs> any money, so I prefer to give um, a banana. Okay, let's, let's move on. Okay, now we have very quickly. Where can you buy these things in the pictures? For example, a sofa or a. Okay, I don't remember the name. A sofa? Yes, I think it's a sofa. A can of beans, books, a uh, bin. Where do you buy this? For example, where do I buy a. Um, a sofa. Department store. Where? Department store. Department store. Okay. Yes, that's right. Where can I buy a can of beans? In supermarket. In a supermarket. That's right. Yes. Yeah, where can I book? Where can I buy books? In a bookshop. In a bookshop, okay. Where can I buy this? Van Ditas. Van? In a chemist. Okay, in a chemist. Okay, before uh, we go, we are going to do some homework. Yes. Do you have a workbook? Yes. yes. Okay, you are going to work on page 16. And on this this part also on page 17, but just we are going to work on on this part. Yes, just this part. This part. Um, okay, you don't have to work on this part. Okay, so just this part. This part and this part. Okay, is it clear what you are going to do? Yes. Okay. You have to send me a picture if you want about your homework in, in classroom. Yes. Yes. Okay, now what else? We are going to answer the questions. What other things can you buy in Okay, forget it. Okay, now we are, okay, no, 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 don't forget. Uh, we have that we can buy another things. Uh, for example, what other things can you buy in the shops? For example, uh, apart from books, what can we buy in a bookshop? Magazines, TVs, poster. What else? No, what did you say? I don't, I didn't listen very well. Mm -hmm. 
What did you buy? What do you buy also in a bookshop? Uh, I don't know who is a periódico. Periodic? Newspapers, news, newspapers. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I can remember. Newspapers. What else? Okay, in a chemist, what can we buy in a chemist? Medicine. Medicine, okay, what else? Okay. <laughs> In a department store, what can we buy in a department store? A bed. Bed? Okay. Yes. In a supermarket? Food. Food, okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to stop here and remember that we have class next week and I would like you send your homework. Yes? Yes? Yeah. And okay, I see you next class. Uh, something that you want to say before I leave the meeting? Have a nice day. Okay, have a nice day too. And take her. I see you next class. Bye. See you later. See you later. Uh, see you next week. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Bye.